We next turn our attention to the welterweight division. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout schedule for three three-minute rounds in glory's welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, trained in wushu and kickboxing, he brings a 61% career knockout ratio to the ring. As a professional, 47 wins, four losses, one draw, 29 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At 5 feet 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, he weighed in at 169.3 pounds, 76.8 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Istanbul, Turkey, here is Vedat, the Supreme Fighting Machine, Adu! Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner. He last competed on home soil at Glory 54 in Birmingham. His professional record, 25 wins with seven losses. Three of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet, one inch tall, 1.85 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 169.8 pounds and even 77 kilos. He's here in Lyon tonight, fighting out of Durham, England. Introducing Jamie Bates. Your referee for this contest, John Axwood. Okay, guys, you both know the rules. So on a clean fight. Break is break, stop is stop. Okay? They do not touch gloves. Bates not happy at all that Hodu cut right in his face yesterday at the weigh-in. Yeah, Jamie Bates is a nice guy outside of the ring. And, I mean, it kind of riled them up a little bit. So let's see if Hodu can back it up. Hodouk in his glory debut wearing the black gloves. Bates in the white fighting for glory for the fourth time. Two wins, one loss. And the one loss was to Ivan Dannenberg. I mean, he showed us so much heart in that fight. Got dropped with a body shot. Finished the fight despite not being able to lift his hands much above his waist. And right away, you can see that the footwork that Jamie Bates has been working with his boxing. He's slipping out well, countering with that left hook. And Hoduk wanting to close the distance. Chop the legs away. Bates told us he was going to be more aggressive than we've seen him in the past. Well, he says he wants to bring that aggression, but also keep it basic. Keep it strong. Find his openings. Or Hodok's going to have to use that pressure to get on the inside. Hodok's coach, Tariq Salat, told us that Hodouk is one of the most disciplined fighters he's ever had. Says if he's told to run five miles, he'll run eight. That's how you have to be. Break, step back. I don't want to really get it. Hodouk said he went to the gym for the first time because he wanted to lose weight. He said, plus, I just want to get off the streets of Istanbul. It's a tough place to live as Bates opens up a little bit. Yeah, it was a nice high kick at the end of those punches. Hodouk needs to stay technical. He's kind of lunging in with those big punches. Yeah, Jamie Bates is trying to counter, exit back and counter versus that forward pressure. Bates showing good distance control in his footwork. Bates has had some professional boxing matches since we've seen him last. I said, what do you prefer, boxing or kickboxing? He said, I like kickboxing loads better. Oh, absolutely. You're limiting your strikes when you just straight box. But it's a good advantage to kind of get comfortable because straight boxing teaches you to be comfortable in mid-range, which is one of the most dangerous ranges in this game. And you could already see Jamie Bates' distance control. Break. Step back. But Hoduk is just waiting to unload, isn't he? Yeah, he's just coming in. Break! I'm liking that intensity and the power he's bringing. Nice job by Bates to stop that exchange before it got going. Stop! Right. Hoduk right after him. Wants to get the fight on the inside. Stop. 
our glory girls tonight, Bella, Stephanie, right. and Laura. Round two here from Lyon, France. Three judges giving Hoduk round one. Hey, they must be valuing that forward pressure of Hoduk. But it's really Jamie Bates controlling the distance right now. Right. I feel he might have to press a little bit more forward to steal the judges. All right. Oh, good high kick for Bates. He's so much longer than Hoduk. And that's been one of his Stop. best strikes when he mixes his head kick after the punches. Right. He caught Hoduk a few times in it. Hoduk really wanting to entertain. Hoduk told us he did zero preparation for Jamie Bates in regards to studying him. To watch no videos, didn't know anything about it. Well, he has a style that he makes fighters fight his way. Because you know he's going to come forward, he's going to try to land his big left hooks, his overhand rights, his low kicks. So he forces fighters into his style of fight. Spinning back kick there for Bates. The Duke trying to match it, showing that he can throw it as well. Good left hand for Hoduk. Bates wanted to impress tonight. Hoduk's making it difficult. Good inside low kick from the Turkish fighter. Yep, I think it's a good strategy for him to use his kicks to set up his big punches. Bates is waiting for the power punch, which kind of leaves his leg there. So keep chopping away at the legs and then find the punches. Good strategy for Hoduk. Stop. Bates wanted a knockdown. But he won't get it. Good body kicks, though, for Bates. Yeah, trying to use that scoring move mentality. Ray. We've seen from the judging tonight, they're putting more of a value on the power punching rather than the volume. Stop. Yeah, I mean, it comes down to damage. So if you throw a couple strikes that land big versus, you know, five or six light jabs, you know, whatever scoring damage is going to take pressing. Spends a lot of her time in South Africa. Right now, told me she's living in London. Right. Headed to the third and final round. Be interesting to see what these judges score in the second round. Great. All five for Bates. Yeah, that hit and move style. Oh, back high kick. That is a knockdown. What a shot from Jamie Bates. He landed it a One, couple times in the first two, two rounds. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. He'll take the mandatory eight. And if anyone was going to knock someone down, you thought it might be Hoda. Bates only three KOs and 25 wins. And it's that long style he has, and you can see how he's got good eyes and good distance control. There it is again. Hoda's looking a little wobbly. I am liking the output now from Bates. He's staying long, using front kicks, using the jab, scoring, making it tougher for Hoduk to get inside. Break. And now Hoduk knows that he needs a knockdown himself or he's going to lose this fight. Another high kick from Bates. Bates landed a nice left hook in that exchange. Ooh, right hand just off the chin. Break. Do you see a difference in Bates' style than prior fights? Well, I feel like his, his boxing is a little bit sharper than we've seen in the past. But he's always been good with his long-range kicking. So I would say I definitely see improvements in his hands. Constantly moving as well, not standing still. I'm liking that exit kick from Bates. Right. Step back. As soon as Hoduk exits, that head kick's coming right for it. 
for the finish. Breaks the back. Bates fighting out of County Durham, England. His coach is his father, Jeff Break. Bates. There he is on the left. Very proud of his son. Duke now trying to get the head kick. If Hoduke is going to get the knockout, which punch or strike is it going to be from? Well, it seems like it's his left hook or his overhand right, but I mean, I feel like he should throw them in combination. If he's going to rip that overhand right, follow with the left hook because Jamie Bates is just slipping outside. He needs to follow up that big punch. He misses that one right hand, follow up with a couple, two, three more punches. The one single shot's not working. 10 seconds left here in the third round. A good round for Bates as he scored a knockdown. Oh. So Bates is back and it appears he's in the win column again. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of stand-up combat, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. Three of our ringside judges score them out 29-27. The two remaining judges have it 30 26, all for your winner by unanimous decision, Jamie Bates! I'm here with your winner, Jamie Bates. Tough fight, man. How are you feeling after your performance? I'm here with your gagnant here, Jamie, a combat très dur. How do you feel after this performance? Uh, it's good to be back. It's been almost 18 months since Glory Birmingham. So that was shaking the rust off. After this, come on, let's get the top boys. Let's get some top wins. And let's bring Glory to Newcastle. Ça fait plaisir de revenir. Ça faisait très longtemps, presque 18 mois après Glory Birmingham. Maintenant, j'attends les gros gars, j'attends les contenders. You wanted to come in, you wanted to be spectacular. Was this the performance you were looking for? Tu voulais venir ici, tu voulais être spectaculaire. Est-ce que c'était la per performance que tu attendais? I'm my own biggest critic, so I wouldn't say it's the performance I was looking for, but there was more bad intention behind the shot. Hence the knockdown, round three, which secured the victory. Vedut, a very, very strong fighter with a 61% knockout ratio. I had to be sensible, but I overcame it, and I'm only going to get better. Je suis mon plus grand critique, donc c'est pas la performance à laquelle je m'attendais, mais il y a eu les body shots, il y a eu le knockdown, donc euh, grosso modo, je suis satisfait. All right, you came in number eight. We're excited to see you again. Your winner, Jamie Bates. If you've ever wondered what an accent from County Durham, England sounded like, there it is, Jamie Bates.